Today we're going to be installing this RX6400 into this Optiplex 5040 and see how it performs. All right, let's get the top off and see what we have inside. With this 5040, the way to take off the cover is you have this sliding latch. Slide it over until it clicks. And then you can just slide this back by, yeah, holding on to this handle and it comes right off. It's gotten more and more elegant over time. All right, next, we need to get this regular bracket off and put a low profile bracket on. There are four screws. They make it easy uh, and they are just J1 Phillips head screws. So we're gonna take our J1 right here, test that out. Yep, fits perfectly. All right, now I'm going to take this off. Now that we've got this low profile bracket on, as you can see, the PCIe 16X slot is closer to the power supply. And that means we're going to have to use a single width card. Now to open this up, it says pull right on the top. You just flip it up, take this out, and we're going to plug it directly down into that 16X slot. Not too bad, okay. Give myself a pat on the back. That's probably one of my better installs right there. All right, the listing on eBay said this came with no operating system. And what they meant by that was there's no hard drive. But they did supply us with this caddy, which you can get off just by manipulating the sides of this thing. But this caddy is actually made for two solid state drives, one and two. I've got my own caddy and one solid state drive, so I'm gonna take this one out and replace it with my own. All right, there you go. We've got the two solid state drive caddy out of there, and we're going to replace it with my, and I have right here. I just had it in there backwards. So I'm gonna put those rubber thingies back in. My bad. All right, it's in there. Now we're gonna put it in place. Well, actually, looks like we only have one of the two plugs that we need. I'm gonna have to fish the other one out from underneath here, so. To do that, I'm going to take the face off, just like this, let it hang there. This is in a locked position here, we're going to unlock it and swing it up. Up oh, there it is, right underneath there. Alright, now we have our two plugs, put the face back on, there we go, and we can put our caddy in place and plug it in and we're ready to get this thing tested. There we go. Get this top back on. How do I do this? We got a 3D Mark time spy score of 3569, graphics score of 3667, and a CPU score of 3100. Here's our system information, and here's the detailed monitoring. Right, since we did user benchmark before, we're going to do it again so we can compare. Last time we did user benchmark, it was on a 3020, and it didn't even have an SSD. It only had four gigabytes of RAM, I believe, and we got a score of 37%. So let's see how it does in a much better PC with 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 6th gen processor. All right, this time we got a score of 38.3 with the better hardware. This time we have an SSD, so of course better score there and 16 gigabytes of RAM. 
So I got about 1% better of a score because it is connected to better hardware. Compared to other RX 6400s, it scored near the top. So this is about as far as RX 6400s can go. So this is really, if you have an RX 6400 or really want one, this is really pretty much the best setup or close to it.